We have been at this for hours. We're gonna have to pay the babysitter over time. Use that as incentive to keep the uh, detective energy up, huh? Bill, my wife is exhausted, okay? It's kind of stuffy in here. All right, now, look, I'm not trying to complain. We all appreciate you inviting us over, okay? Katie, the roast was as advertised. But it's really late, okay? Let's just let's just call it a night, huh? I seem to remember a certain little get-together last month that seemed to go on forever, but Bill and I stayed till the very end. Katie, Sarah's father had just died. We were sitting shiva. <laughs> Well, look, we stayed for the whole darn thing now, didn't we? Somebody in this room killed that butler over there. Fine. Where were you last night at 7.30 p.m.? Actually, I was in the den having a spot of brandy. Where were you? That is bullshit. You don't have a den, and I have three surgeries scheduled for tomorrow, and I need my rest. Okay. I wasn't going to say anything, but it is insanely hot in here! It's perfectly comfortable, Fred. Yeah, exactly. And listen, Mr. Johansson poured himself a brandy. That might be a clue to something. Rach, get your jacket. We're leaving. Thanks for the shitty roast, Katie. <sighs> I'm with Fred. Gavin, let's go. I'm sweating my fucking tits off in here. And seriously, guys, you brought Burger King to my father's shiva? What was, was Hardy's clothes or something? Let's get the fuck out of here. I think we lucked out with the Burger King they brought. Whoa! Oh, shit! Hey, 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 hey! I told you. Real gunplay, that costs extra. You shut your filthy carny mouth! <laughs> now let me get one thing straight. We invite you over for a beautiful meal. My wife cooks you a gorgeous roast. We pour booze down your fat gullets. And in return, we only ask for you to stay a while and play a simple mystery game. Is that too much to ask? That is just plain rude. Yeah, and one more thing. Now shut up, honey. Fred, you sit your fat ass down and put your coat down and let's solve this goddamn mystery. This is insane. We're leaving and we never want to see you or your shitty cooking ever again. No. Ow, ow, ow. Get a good bill. I don't understand why everybody keeps talking about how shitty my cooking is. You know what? And I also don't understand why everybody keeps saying that it's too hot in this household because 82 degrees is the exact temperature that old magazine says you should keep your house at for comfortable living. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. It's a magical temperature. 82 degrees is wonderful. And the roast was delicious, everyone. Now just give me the gun. Well, I mean, let's be honest. The guns are on the table. The roast was disgusting. Oh, it really was. Although. The good news is we probably sweated that shitty meal out by now, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Looks like an open and shut case. Mm -hmm.